Hello and welcome back. My name is Sebastian and we do some PostgreSQL commands. And this time we are focusing a little bit on the dates. So we want to know a little bit more about the extract and the to talk to character function. So both are used mostly with uh, dates. And we will now have a short look how they are working, how we could integrate them in our SQL PostSQL commands. Okay, great. So then I have here a small one. Select transaction date from sales table and we limit this to 10. So we just want to see the first 10 entries. So in my table I have here some transaction dates and sometimes it is useful to have this a little bit formatted. For instance, when I use this here now, I want to know uh, just the months or the years or the day. And this comes then the extract function. And how it works, we will see in a second. So first we keep the original column still that we see how our result turns out. We start again with the comma. Then we start with extract, then our formatting, so we want the day from transaction date. As we are good coders, we want to name this also as something day. Yeah. Okay, so S gives us a new column which has then just a day, uh, just a day. So the expected result would be now that we have still this column and the second column named as day and there's then just the 26, the 27, the 28 and so on. Let's see how it's working. Oh, there we go. 26, 27, 28, 30. Great. Okay. And can we also extract a year? Yes, for sure. We can also do this with the year. Okay, works the same. So with this we could easily make extraction from certain types of dates. And what we can now do is, for instance, we will extract everything from it. So we want also the month as a new column. Let's name this also month. And we want to extract also the day as day and now the result should look like this we have still our original transaction date and then comes a column with all the years a column with all the months and a column with all the days let's see well there we go nice result so it is now extracted from our first column 2023 as a year this is this code here, this line, then our month, month from transaction date as month, months, and our days is extract day from transaction date as day. Easy to use. So when you would do this then for all of your data, you just put it a limit away and then it comes for everything. Great. As usual, you could also use this in a WHERE clause. So for instance, you want to know just everything from the 26th. This you can also use the extract function. Okay, but it could be that this is not the right format. I just want for my report for my leadership meant that I have just a month and a year or in a different period. So here we have now year, month, day. But for instance, in Germany, they use day, month, year. So how we do this? Yes, we use the to char function, to character. Okay, we keep our original one that we see also some differences. We start again under the select command with a comma. Now to draw, then we say our transaction date. So this is the column where we get the date from, comma. And then we want to modify 
how the result should look like. So we want first the days, then we want the months, and then we want the years. And that's we name as new in the E, for instance. Let's run this command. Great. So we turned actually the 2023 1026 into another form, namely 261023. You could also use something like this. Yeah, what you want. Okay. Be aware it's then just a string. Yeah, we are handling here strings, so it's not a number anymore. So um, be aware of this. And we could also use it as a dot. Also looks nice. Let's try this. Oh, great. So easily you can manipulate with the extract function or the to character to char function your dates. And this is very helpful when you really have just in the beginning a column which looks like this and data which looks like this and you want to extract more granularity out of the dates or the months or the years, especially when you create in reports. It could be also it has a timestamp, even with an hour or a minute or a second. Then even more, this is helpful because then you can create, okay, I want to have in my month October, I want to see how much revenue I have between four and six. So you can create columns with numbers and there you can from this point on manipulate the data and then put it into a report which can then be presented. Okay, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Until then, please like and subscribe.